Okay, hi there guys. Um, this is the last video I'm doing about uh, the game development. Um, basically, I'm gonna stop uh, working on the game now. Um, uh, um, it's not exactly finished. You'll find that there are three stages and the final stage is like it's being cut in half. Anyway, um, so you can, you know, play like in the story mode by just pressing one or you can select any of the available stages from this menu. So, um, the reason I am, uh, I'm gonna run the game, but also the reason I am uh, stopping this is, is I'm thinking of uh, developing or re um, uh, recreating this game but this time for Android platform and my basic idea was that uh, the game will be hosted on a server and uh, later on uh, you should be able to um, how do you say that uh, late later on you will you should be able to um, access that game either from PC or your Android device or play the whole game on Android device so um, Basically, I'm thinking of porting this game to Java. Okay, um, this is the first thing. Um, well, um, this work in in a way was helpful because uh, I learned a lot of uh, you know lots of tricks regarding game development. I figured out a number of things that I wasn't uh, able to um, wasn't able to or they didn't know about uh, when I faced them here um, so um, one of the things is like for example creature movement uh, I figured out a better technique for uh, you know uh, defining creature movement uh, I figured out um, things like how to make objects affect other objects um, the idea is very simple. I figured out how to make the program modular so that it could accept different types of inputs. Um, yeah, this is one of the things. Also, there are a few tech other things like, for example, creating character that follows you and stuff like that. So, um, uh, in, a in addition to this, uh, actually, uh, I'll be able to use these assets. One of the things that are good here is that I didn't use uh, any kind of existing materials I created uh, the whole music for the game and uh, although it might uh, be you know bad quality or something and also I uh, how to say that I created the whole graphics so um, and basically my tools were GIMP and uh, uh, Microsoft Word and you can check these files if you're interested how did I do that okay so all in all, it's uh, it was a useful experience actually. Um, so um, later on, when I'm gonna try to port this game to Java, um, most of the the basic idea will be available. It will it will be more likely like just translating code to Java, but there will be few other things that I will need to work on, um, such as uh, how do you create a server okay and uh, also how to, how do you you know update the users how do you create multiple users and make them all play uh, the basic idea i wanted to make is that uh, i want to to create many uh, uh sorry create uh, this world that could could be running and uh, creating this kind of enemy that uh, could evolve over time um regardless uh, if, uh, of of uh, if there are a number of players uh, available or not okay so um, this is one of the things um, you can see here this uh, kind of robot here have uh, a little bit of intelligent movement I used uh, something called finite state machine or um, um, I think Turing machine is a better term uh, and and that uh, helped me describe the, m the motion so you might think that it has intelligence okay um, so you know y you'll find uh, there are a number of other uh, robots and other stuff in this game um, in, in this stage I mean um, yeah so uh, going back to 
what I was saying. Hopefully, um, the game will be uh, uh, much better um, be because uh, I know what are the bad practices that I made in, in this game and uh, how can I avoid them. Uh, also, since I'm gonna make the classes in Java, supporting it to Android won't be very, very difficult, I hope. Okay, um, I'll try to make a little bit of, uh, you know, coding encapsulation, you know, just uh, for the sake of, uh, how do you call that, just to, to make it easier to reuse the code on Android and uh, on PC and hopefully other platforms okay um, anyway so um, I hope uh, uh, I hope if you downloaded the source code and checked it out I hope you'll find it uh, useful you know just to know how to make a game uh, whether it's in Visual Basic or any other language um, other things uh, um, I wanted to say is that uh, there uh, I created a setup okay uh, for, for uh, this game and uh, you can install this game now um, you can see there's a spaceship that, that you can use uh, in order to, to go to higher platforms and uh, other areas okay so uh, anyway so you'll find uh, you'll find a setup also there is a map editor and uh, I'll speak a little bit about the map editor and how it works. Uh, it's not that complex to work with. Uh, it's very easy, I guess. Or yeah. Uh, anyway, so in order to exit this space, if you you need to jump. So here I'm jumping, and now I have just opened this gate. Okay, so yeah. So let's go to the hell here. Okay. Um, what other things that I wanted to tell you about? Um, um, this is pretty much it. I made uh, some modifications to the code, um, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I should continue playing this game now. I think I will go to this to the code or speak about the map editor a little bit. So I, I'm gonna exit this now. Uh, exit again and now run the game sorry and uh, yeah so now I'm running the game again so the map editor is very straightforward when you try to create a new map you uh, you can create a, a new map or you can just click on these ellipses and you can see uh, you know there are uh, these available maps you can select any or you can create your own so you uh, if you didn't select any file it's gonna ask you how many blocks do you want to be the width for this map for example so, uh, um, I would like it to be 100 by 100 like that um, and what you're gonna see here is that uh, there's this little bit of an X that you can use in order to tell uh, uh, to tell where your character will be placed or something like that so here you can see numbers so one go to next page two set your location so I'm gonna press two here you can see this is the hero if you want to use the girl you can press five um, the game is gonna check if it's fine the hero is gonna set it as the default player if it's gonna find only a hero and it's gonna set her as the default if, you, if, if the game finds both it's gonna only set the hero and the heroine must be uh, you know the hero should find the heroine in order to ask her to follow him or something like that um, you can see that there is uh, the information box uh, which is number three and when you press that you enter the message for example testing and uh, basically this is the the text that appear wh when you are gonna you know um, touch the, uh, the the this marker if you want to remove it you can press Z okay the action allows you to do something in, in this case I, I only made one kind of action which is loading another another map so when you are finished with the, with the stage you automatically load in, uh, the other one so here in this case um, um, I, I won't try it so now let's go to the other next page I press one so here this is weapons and items um, there, this is the health box number two 
um, you can place many as you like. Uh, there is also the glove box, uh, dynamite box, uh, bouncing palms, shoe box, so there is an X and uh, the hovercraft, I made it like um, this is a small uh, spaceship, I made it like an item, it's not an item but basically you can get into it, so I placed it here. Uh, now uh, let's go to the next one here. Uh, we have we have a number of things. So we have number three, which is the standard brick that you can use. Um, you have um, you know grass. This, these are all the same. It's just you know just for the looks. Number five for rocks. Uh, now this is this is, uh, this one is interesting. Three branches. Uh, you cannot get uh, stand on this unless you you can get the gloves okay so um this is a different uh, kind of a block and uh, finally we have what we have uh, uh seven okay um yeah so i'm gonna pause the video okay sorry so let's continue here about, uh, talking about the editor so uh, number seven is the wiki brick and the wiki brick is the one that get destroyed when you are using an axe and finally we have the factory brick uh, which is like the other bricks uh, you just use it to, s to stand on so um, not much about that um, let's go to the other set so here we have uh, the set of enemies we don't have many now uh, but check this out number two is the standard spider um, we have uh, what we have the monkey enemy we have this stupid enemy this have total random movement um, uh, persistent enemy is different as soon as it, it detects you it's gonna you know t try to to chase you okay uh, yeah um, a wolfman is very similar to persistent but uh, uh, it's gonna chase you if you are near enough okay uh, the bad enemy uh, this one flies and and attached to the bottom of uh, a ceiling okay uh, un under the ceiling or something like that um, okay what do we have also we have robot enemy robot enemy is like stupid enemies just you know moving randomly um, now um, check this out uh, number nine uh, RGM is uh, robot generation and generator machine so here uh, you should do two things first give it a name for example R okay um, and hit OK next is gonna ask you what kind of machine is gonna generate so I uh, you can put more than one so what I did is that for example T is the code for bombs um, U is one of the robots robots V W X Y Z so each one of these is, uh, each letter represent a type of enemy okay so what uh, if it finds more than one letter for example if you want a robot I think I, I used W for the robot I, I can't remember now so if you use W the machine is gonna generate only the, uh, the one kind of robot uh, okay but if you use uh, for example two letters gonna generate the W or the X one it depends okay and uh, you hit OK. So when this machine generates this uh, kind of robot, well, basically you need to use the next item, which is an alarm. You put zero, you press zero, okay, and you enter which uh, robot generation machine to be affected. And the the, uh, the name of this one is R. So you press R and hit OK. So whenever your character passes through this area, or um, collide with the alarm object uh, the machine will generate an enemy okay now um, a Q is used for what for f flying robot okay this one moves randomly um, W is the second kind of machine and this one's a little bit smarter because use finite state automata to figure out what to do okay uh, unlike the others now we have um, a uh, this one is another robot is similar to the previous one except it has different parameters and different speed um, you have this electricity and if you intersect with it it's gonna hurt you a little bit 
and we have what we have D for uh, this kind of flying uh, machines this one also uses finite state automata but it has a different kind of style uh, of fly um, the F uh, this one throws bombs at you okay so these are the basic kinds of enemies uh, not many but you know uh, play the game and check them out next one we have what we have factor factory tiles and factory tiles are used in your, you know just to um, create the background in this case so here that there is this uh, this kind of tile there is this other one there is another one here another one here and uh, you can see these types and you can create many things so there's this one also that rotates give the impression that there's something working the fusion machine you can put something here and it, it would appear like a machine working or something like that okay um, so you can try the others um, um, there's also in the other you, you'll find there's a water block as you can see here um, there is uh, leaves and stuff like that and basically these are used just for uh, background okay there are some effects like Q for uh, that will show uh, you know it's like there's some kind of smoke or something like that okay um, yeah what also do we have we have if you remember previous work about generator and the map saving map and loading map and there's go gates and the switches and this one's also works the similar way to to the uh, robo generation machine and uh, the alarm you enter the name of uh, you enter a name for the gate and you enter the uh, uh, and uh, for the button you enter the the name uh, sorry uh, also the name of the gate to be affected by that button okay so I don't think you need to know much about that and uh, that's it this is pretty much all you need to to know when you want to create the editor and using this editor I was able to create these three stages okay um, now um, let's go and let me stop this video again and uh, then we will go to the code okay so click stop okay so um, finally we are going to speak about the code itself which is what matters most so um, now you'll find there are many changes here um, first um, um, I created these partitions uh, or partition the code and uh, make it um, you know a little bit more organized so um, we have this game creatures uh, creatures uh, sorry game sprites class and this uh, this one's job is to load all the sprites for every single uh, uh, single creature okay so it has a method to load all these uh, uh, sprites also it has a, a special method to generate the electricity sprite because uh, I didn't cre create that basically the game will generate the electricity sprite uh, right away by itself okay uh, there is also the status uh, class which is used to render uh, the status information okay not much of code there there is the time class and this one is very simple its job is to get you the time difference because it's been using calculations uh, we have also the sound class which has uh, which stores the buffers used in the game the sound buffers okay we have the game on put class and this one's important because uh, basically if, if you modify this class you can change the type of input for the game for example instead of using the keyboard you could modify this class and the whole game will work using the joystick um, so it's as simple as that okay but it has a few other methods um, what also do we have we have the game display class uh, and um, its job is to control the display okay um, uh, what do we have also we have the game creature class now this one differs from the sprites because this one stores actual creatures have many methods and lists um, it, it is gonna uh, put th the creatures into a specific number of lists, lists based on the creature type 
and uh, basically uh, this will allow uh, fast execution of your code because you won't have to check every single creature against every other creature uh, if you check the code you'll understand what I mean by this okay uh, it will have a number of uh, methods like update all aircraft update all boxes update all dynamite bombs and stuff like that arrows and enemies etc etc so you can check that okay and um, also we have the finite state machine and the finite state machine if you understand the concept of you are interested in that um, it, it will it consists of number of states and transitions um, and these transitions will get executed based on some kind of input okay so um, I created this class that would handle this and later on you will find how it's easy to, to, to use it okay how, how it makes the code much easier um, these are the music files uh, I used uh, Linux uh, multimedia studio to generate them okay and um, let's go talk about uh, the enemies a little bit I will talk right away about the robot to enemy because I use the finite state machine in that so the motion here I create I need to create a single finite state machine object and give it a number of rules what to do okay so um, basically this is the first set of rules okay and you might think this is lots of writing but this is actually one number okay this is actually one number uh, um, it's number 11 this one's number what, what number is that no action also this is number five and so on um, it's not that complicated if you read the code you'll find it very straightforward okay so it consists of a, num a few number of states you you just um, create these rules uh, in, uh, into these states and um, and add these rules into the finite state machine and uh, set the random factor and that's it okay uh, later on you'll find that the third robot is very similar okay um, you'll find the update code is very small not much in there okay um, yeah I guess this is pretty much it this is all you need to know about the class um, yeah okay so mm, just in case if you're interested you can you can check the Microsoft Word document if you would like to see how did I create the objects not everything I did is here uh, not everything I did is available here but you know the difficult stuff is available these are the robots actually okay so this is the flying robot this is the second type of robot and this is the gate uh, this is a finite state machine that I I created to control the, the robot the text you, you saw is just representation for this graphics um, yeah uh, it's not exactly the same I did a modification later on but you know um, this will help you understand the idea late, later on if you read a little bit about finite state machine um, yeah and uh, this is it this is how I created this game and uh, in a way um, I guess uh, I made it uh, I, uh, and by this I mean uh, I entered computer science because I liked games I wanted to create my own game so after many years I was able to create one I had um, I I assigned a little bit of time to it and finally was able to make the game so hopefully I'll have enough time to make a uh, remake this game for Android and hopefully people would enjoy it next time okay if you check this code and um, uh, and you have a question uh, questions about it let me know the, what these questions are I hope you'll find this useful um, so uh, Happy programming, happy gaming, and uh, wishing all of you a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.